everyone, it's Adele here from Annabelle Tactics with my dog Misty. And today we're going to look at the game of tug. Now you can play tug with anything that you want to, that is a rope. I actually use a tug um, obedience toy. You can buy these from um, a lot of obedience dog places. Um, I've got one from us locally here in Adelaide. Um, or you can order them online. Um, if you're wanting to know where to get them from online, just drop us a, a comment below in the, in the box and we'll um, direct you to who you can get these from. Um, so anyway, tug. What is tug and why do we play the, the game of tug? A, our dogs love it. Why do they love it? It kicks into their prey drive. It's that fight or flight mode. Um, you know, before dogs evolved um, to being domesticated, um, they love to chase rabbits, wild, um, search, and seek, search and seek for their food. So this actually kicks into those genetics um, and it is a really, really good connection tool to make that bond between you and your dog. So what we're gonna do today is just show you how we engage in that. If I can get Misty back over here. Misty, come, come. So I'm gonna just hold the tug toy out to the side. I want her to come and grab it and she's gonna tug at that naturally. Now in the beginning stages, we want her to win, okay? We never want to constantly be winning against her. That is not the idea. The dog needs to win and we're gonna let it go. Yes, well done. Good girl, and she drops it. Now, leave it out. Out. So, the other idea is to have two of these if you get stuck with your dog. As you can see, she's really wanting this, um, which is awesome. I normally have two going. I have one in my back pocket so that if she runs off with this, I then make the other one come to life. Think of it like a rabbit. You're wanting it to entice her to come back and using that with you. So, Misty, out, out, good. I've also taught Misty an out word. Um, what that means is I'm done for the moment, we're finished for a second. It's not totally finishing the game, it should be different to finishing your training or finishing the game that you're playing with. We'll do that at the end and we'll tell her that. Um, but out just gives me a chance to reset, also makes her reset, also kicks into that drive, uh, the impulse control. Okay, so impulse control is actually building up that anticipation, building up those hormones and those wants to come and, and get this again. So here we go again, you see, come. We're gonna tease her a bit with it. Come, come get it, come on. Yes, and we really wanted a tug on that one and pull. It's a great game to play with your dog. Pull, get it, yes, yes. And we wanted to pull her in and come back for more. Ready, come on, come on. Now some dogs will go off and celebrate their win. Yeah, good girl. Good girl, Misty. Can you bring it back? She may or may not. Sometimes, yep, she's dropped it. So now it's lost its interest. It's not running around anymore. I can go and retrieve that from her. Um, you may like to have your dog on a lead. And here she comes, it's back alive again. Yes, good girl. It's exactly what we're wanting. Come on, Misty, get it. Out, out, good, up, good. So she's ready for it. I'm gonna keep it nice and still when I want it to come alive again and for her to get it. Yes, go, get it, Misty, get it, get it, get it. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. come on, pull, pull. Yes, good girl, pull it, good girl, pull it, good girl. And letting her win, yes, good girl, yes, off she goes and she's celebrating around the backyard. She little tail's wagging over there. Okay, just a couple of other hints when you're playing this game. Um, let them celebrate that win, encourage it, make it a big, massive celebration that really kicks into them feeling like they've achieved something. Um, number two, have a second toy, a second option. If they do run away with it, and you'll find that often with puppies or um, dogs in their early years, um, they will run off and they'll wanna then make it a game of chasey. That's not the outcome that we're wanting to achieve with this game. We're wanting them to come back to us for more. Um, in order to do that, I would also suggest in the early stages, if that is what your dog is doing, to pop them on a lead or um, a long line so you can actually pull them back in towards you, not with great force, but gently. 
be patient in the early stages. You're wanting to encourage that dog to come back with you. That's why I mentioned the two options. Um, but most of all, really kick into that um, impulse control and their prey drive. It is a great game for your dogs. Have fun with it, enjoy it. It can be exhausting as you can hear. Um, and that is all for today on this one. Make sure you give us a thumbs up on our video, subscribe to our channel. We really do both appreciate your support. That's all for now. Look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Bye.